This is an Arduino based drone. Both the flight controller and receiver are made and programmed with Arduino. The radio controller is also made with Arduino and an old controller case. So if you want to build your own cheap Arduino based drone, this video will show you how step by step. So let's build this drone. <laughs> What's up my friends, welcome back! The construction of this drone will have three parts. One is the radio transmitter and receiver. The other is the flight controller and finally the actual drone where we join everything together. In this video we will see how to build the flight controller of the drone. So let's get started! The brain of the flight controller is the Arduino Nano with the Atmega 328 microcontroller. It will receive data from an inertial motion unit and the radio receiver, process that data and control four electronic speed controllers. Those speed controllers will spin four brushless motors and stabilize the drone. Any drone should have these main parts in order to fly straight. The inertial motion unit could have many types of sensors. But to begin, we will use just a gyro and accelerometer sensor. This will ensure a straight flight and angle control. The sensor that I've used is the MPU6050 gyro and accelerometer. The link of this module is in the description. This module connects to the Arduino using an I2C communication. The final board of the flight controller should also have four outputs for four motors and one input for a PPN signal from the receiver. So this is the schematic that I will mount for the flight controller. Using a drill PCB I will place the Arduino Nano at the bottom and the MPU6050 as centered as we can. We solder the data and clock pins of the MPU6050 module to the pins A4 and A5 of the Arduino. Those are the pins for the I2C port that will communicate with the module. Connect ground and supply 5 volts to the module. We should also add 8 mil pins for the electronic speed controller outputs to the board. 4 of these pins will be ground and the other 4 signals, each one for each motor. The pins for the signals are digital pin 3, 9, 10 and 11 as shown here. Finally we solder 3 more pins. One is ground, the other one is digital pin 2 where the PPN signal input from the receiver will be connected and the last one is connected to 5 volts. To this pin we will supply 5 volts from the 5 volts BEC output of the ESC. This is the final PCB that I've made. You can see the pins for the motor's output, the accelerometer in the middle and the Arduino Nano. To supply the Arduino we will use one of the electronic speed controllers BECs. Almost any commercial electronic speed controller has a 5 volts BEC integrated. I've used this 12 amperes electronic speed controller. The red wire is 5 volts, so when I will build the drone I will use one of these pins to supply the Arduino directly to the 5 volts pins, because this is already a very stable voltage. Ok, so the board is ready, now we have to program it. We have two options. The first is to create our own code with a fine PID control and the other one is to use a code that is already tested. In this part of the video I will use the second option. The platform is called MultiWii. MultiWii is a flight control platform that could adapt for a big variety of flying machines, drones, planes, helicopters and so on. The flight controller should read the acceleration and gyro data from the MPU unit. Next, it should calculate the real angle of the drone and using a PID operation control the four motors and move the drone in the desired direction. Ok, so download the MultiWi zip file from a link below. Unzip the file. Inside of the unzip folder you will find the Arduino code that we should upload to the flight controller board and also a Java processing platform for a live configuration of the board. Open the Arduino IDE. Now go to the folder and open the .ino file. 
this will open a bunch of libraries. Go to the config.h library. Here is where we will make all the configuration of our drone. We don't have to change anything in the other libraries. First, let's scroll down to the type of multicopter. To activate any configuration, you should only delete the double slash line that comments that part of the code. The type of the drone that I'm building is a quad X with four motors positioned in the shape of an X. Now let's scroll down a little bit more. Here we define the minimal throttle. To control the motors, we have to send a PWM signal to the ESC. The PWM is modulated by changing the pulse width of the signal. This width is measured in microseconds. The electronic speed controllers that I'm using have a throttle range from 1000 microseconds to 2000 microseconds, where 1000 is no speed at all and 2000 is full throttle. I like to leave my drone on 1150 minimal throttle, because that will ensure me that I will have no motors delay when I start flying my drone. That will also mean that the motors will spin at low RPM while in the standby mode. Ok, I leave the maximum throttle at 2000. The minimum command is the minimum range that the radio controller could send. In this case will be 1000 microseconds. We will see this when we build the radio controller. Now scroll down to the IMU boards. We have to select one that has the MPU 6050 module. I select the Nano Wii board since this one has the Arduino Nano with the MPU 6050 sensor. The next step is to establish a PPM communication between the radio controller receiver and the flight controller. The receiver that we are going to build will send a 6 channel PPM signal with the values for throttle, yaw, pitch and roll and two extra auxiliary channels. For that type control F and open the find tab. Now type PPM and click search. Here in the PPM sum receiver add this line. This is the order of the PPN channels that we will receive. Now save and compile the code. Connect the Arduino of the flight controller to a USB port. Select the Arduino Nano board and the corresponding COM and upload the code. Our flight controller is ready. Now to test it open the Java application from the other folder. Keep the Arduino connected to the USB and select the corresponding COM. Click start and move the flight controller around. As you can see we have a decent life control of the board. Now put the flight controller board flat on a horizontal surface. Wait a few seconds and click calibrate accelerometer. Once calibrated move it around in order to see if it works ok. Depending on how I've placed the components that will be the front of my drone as the arrow shows. We should place the board in the middle of the drone with the arrow pointing the front of the drone. Here in the multi wii platform you could also edit the PID values, calibrate the sensor or change the commands. We will do this in the final video. Well I hope that you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one where we build the radio transmitter and receiver. If you like this video give it a like and share with your friends. That will help me a lot. Also subscribe for more videos like this one. If you consider helping my project also check my Patreon page. Thanks again and see you later guys.